October Kids Songs Math and Drawing. Hi boys and girls. We are going to do the Itsy Bitsy Spider Song. Get your hands ready. This thumb finger, thumb finger. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy Bitsy spider went up the spout again. And now let's do a little voice on a little spider. Here we go. Itsy Bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy spider went up the spout again. Okay, boys and girls. Let's try it real slow, okay? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's try it real fast. Here you go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Again. Let's try it real fast. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. That spider never gave up. That's called perseverance. And I want you boys and girls to show perseverance when you study. Don't give up. I'm going to show you a spider who doesn't give up. He is spinning his web. Yes, you will see a spider, a real spider, spinning his web. And it is so awesome, boys and girls. teach you about the different parts of your body in a fun and exciting way. Are you ready? We're going to do a song called Dem Bones. So we're going to start from the bottom with our feet. Here we go. The foot bone connected to the ankle bone. The ankle bone connected to the leg bone. The leg bone connected to the knee bone. The knee bone connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone connected to the hip bone, the hip bone connected to the back bone, the back bone connected to the shoulder bones, the shoulder bones connected to the neck bone, the neck bone connected to the head bone. Now hear the word of the Lord. Them bones, them bones gonna 
walk around them bones and bones gonna walk around them bones and bones gonna walk around now hear the word of the Lord now start from the head going down the head bone connected to the neck bone the neck bone connected to the shoulder bones the shoulder bones connected to the back bone the back bone connected to the hip bone the hip bone connected to the thigh bone the thigh bone connected to the knee bone the knee bone connected to the leg bone the leg bone connected to the ankle bone the ankle bone connected to the Foot bone, now hear the word of the Lord. Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Them bones, them bones gonna walk around. Now hear the word of the Lord. Now, boys and girls, sing again with lyrics. Here we go. The foot bone connected to the ankle bone. The ankle bone connected to the leg bone the leg bone connected to the knee bone the knee bone connected to the thigh bone the thigh bone connected to the hip bone the hip bone connected to the back bone the back bone connected to the shoulder bones the shoulder bones connected to the neck bone the neck bone connected to the head bone now hear the word of the lord them bones, them bones gonna walk around them bones, them bones gonna walk around them bones, them bones gonna walk around now hear the word of the Lord. Now start from the head going down. The head bone connected to the neck bone, the neck bone connected to the shoulder bones, the shoulder bones connected to the back bone, the back bone connected to the hip bone the hip bone connected to the thigh bone the thigh bone connected to the knee bone the knee bone connected to the leg bone the leg bone connected to the ankle bone the ankle bone connected to the foot bone now hear the word of the lord them bones them bones gonna walk around them bones them bones gonna walk around them bones them bones gonna Walk around now, hear the word of the Lord. You, you guys did great. See you on the next one. Bye. Hi. Wow. Let's do some fun number counting. Look at the witch boys and girls. On her train, she has some pumpkins and skeletons. Let's count the pumpkins, boys and girls. Look carefully at the pumpkins. Here's a closer view, boys and girls. How many pumpkins do you see? Yes, four. Great job. Now let's count the skeletons. How many skeletons do you see on the witch's train? Yes, two. Hey, boys and girls, there's a haunted house. Let's see how many skeleton heads you can count. Yes, three. And how many skeletons do you see? Yes, one. Happy Halloween! How to draw a Halloween jack-o'-lantern. First, boys and girls, you need a white piece of paper. Next, I want you to use a pencil so if you make a mistake, you can erase and you're gonna draw a large circle. Just do the best you can. At the top in the middle, we are going to draw a rectangle for the pumpkin stem. We are now going to draw the eyes of our jack-o'-lantern. We are going to draw triangles. A triangle has three sides. So draw two triangles for the eyes. In the middle, I want you to draw a circle for the jack-o'-lantern snows. For the mouth, we're going to draw a semicircle. 
a semicircle is half of a circle. See the straight line? Boys and girls, we are going to draw three squares hanging from the straight line. And these three squares are going to represent teeth. So remember, your squares have four equal sides. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to use the yellow marker and color inside the different shapes. First, let's color the two triangles. The two triangles represent the jack-o'-lantern's eyes. And just to review, a triangle has three sides. Now let's color the circle. The circle represents the nose. Now boys and girls, I want you to be very careful. You are going to be coloring around the three squares, which are the three front teeth. Color in that whole semicircle with yellow. Boys and girls, next you need to get your orange. I'm going to take my orange marker and trace around the line for the pumpkin's face. And if I make a mistake like I'm doing, all I do is fix it. So don't worry if you make a mistake, just fix it because mistakes are easy to fix. Then you're going to shade in all of the pumpkin. Carefully color around those shapes. You don't want to color over the yellow. You want to color around the yellow shapes. So I made a mistake here because I'm going so fast, so I'm going to correct it. I'm going to blend that line into that outer line so you wouldn't even know I made a mistake. So that's what you have to do, boys and girls, when you make a mistake. So keep on shading in our jack-o'-lantern. Right here, you have to be careful when you shade in those teeth. Remember, the teeth are three squares, and squares have four equal sides. Boys and girls, get your black. We are going to trace around our shapes now. We're going to trace around the triangle, which represents what? Yes, the eyes. Now trace around the circle, which represents what? The nose. And carefully trace around the semicircle. Now watch how I do it. I go underneath each square so we can really see those three teeth. Good job, boys and girls. I'm going to trace around that outside line again with the black marker so that our pumpkin face really stands out. It makes the face kind of jump out at us, boys and girls. Now I'm going to take my green marker and trace around the rectangle and fill it in. And it represents the stem of our jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to get my orange and go over those light spots that I have in my jack-o'-lantern so it looks nice and smooth. So this is what I want you to do, boys and girls. Press down harder or color in all your white spots so your jack-o'-lantern will look better. I don't like to have a white background, so boys and girls, I'm gonna get a blue crayon and I'm gonna shade in the background. It's gonna be a contrast from the markers. And it makes our jack-o'-lantern's face pop out even more boys and girls I hope you're having a great time drawing and coloring this jack-o'-lantern boys and girls because I'm having a great time doing it with you have a happy Halloween boys and girls <laughs>